Wow, guys, it's freaking windy out here, man. Welcome to, uh, instead of going to Padre Island, I forgot I can't fly the drone, but it's too windy to fly the drone. You've seen a little shot of it at the beginning of the video, but I don't know about tonight. Check out this wind, man. Look how, look how much it's blowing. Blowing the sand everywhere. Look at a beautiful Texas sunset. Man, it's like freaking, uh, hurricane out here so let's go down by the Jeep and show you what I've done to the Jeep guys <laughs> damn getting sandblasted up here Lord I don't know if we're gonna be able to do any fishing in this damn wind I mean, it's, it's got to be 30, 40 mile per hour winds. Steady. All right. So, for those of you guys that don't know, I finally got the uh, Quadratech Stealth Light Bar 50 inch. Got it installed today. Had some issues with it, but it is finally installed. So, let's take a look at it from the front. I don't know how much you can see here, but you can see where it's inside the, the windshield there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at it in daylight and then we're gonna look at it at dark. And hopefully this wind will die down so I can put the drone up and we can get some shots from the air. Uh, because, man, it's hard to fly the drone in wind like this. So check it out, guys. All right, I don't know how good you guys can see. But it's installed up here on the windshield. And I had to move my uh, camera up here and the one that was down here I had to put in the back. But you hit this switch up here, it's got amber and white. If you turn it left, it's white. Let's turn it left and see how bright it is. All right, here we go, guys, right in front of it. There you go, right there. Did you can see how bright the lights are? It's pretty bright, even during the day. Look at that, man. Let me get further back here. All right, now we're going to turn my 21-inch uh, light bar on the bumper on and see how bright we got it. This might be just a video about the Jeep and the light bar, man. If this wind don't die down, I'm not going to even be able to cast a pole. There we go. That's with the light bar on the bottom on the bumper and then the 50-inch light bar at the top. All right, let's check out the amber now. So all you do if you want an amber is you just turn it to the right, which you guys probably can't see. I like the amber color. It's pretty cool, but check that out, guys. Look at that. It actually looks like the Texas sunset, doesn't it? Sweet. Look at that, man. So you got the 20, I think it's 21 or 22 inch light bar on the bumper. And then you got the light bar up here that does amber and white. I had to break out the big camera today, man, because it's too windy. And uh, this Rode mic system works good with the big camera in winds like this. A little one does it. All right, there you go. Full view. I don't know how good you could see it. So the way this installed, guys, is I've actually got it into the 12-volt uh, cigarette lighter, power supply, however you want to say it. So I had to take this panel off, this panel off, run the wire through there, take the glove box out, and run the wire from here into the glove box, and then run the wire from the actual light bar through that pillar over there with the handle and down into the, um, the behind the glove compartment is where it all hooks up. Power switch is up there, and then you got the brackets to mount it. There's two brackets, and you can see the whole entire light bar up here. Quadratech, that's who it's from. But it's pretty damn cool. As far as the install, guys, it's only supposed to take you an hour, but it took me a hell of a lot longer than an hour. 
It took me about, I want to say three hours, something like that, right around three hours to get done. There, I got my light bar lighting me up uh, amber. But anyways, look at this bird. He just coming over here checking me out. It was pretty easy to install. It just took me a little bit longer because I'm not used to installing stuff like that. And I actually blew a fuse when I was screwing the bolts back into the A-pillar. I guess it hit one of the wires, the ground wire. <clears throat> and so when I went to, after I got everything together and went to turn it on, it wouldn't turn on. And I was like, oh my gosh, this ain't good because it's not easy taking all that apart and everything. But I replaced the fuse with a 15 amp fuse and uh, everything works good. And that shows you how bright the white is up there, guys. It's pretty damn bright. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments down here, what do you think about that light bar? I like it because it's kind of like stealth. Nobody knows you have one. If it's hanging outside, it, it might whistle when you're going down the road. It also may, um, you know, somebody could steal it. So there's all kinds of things that could happen. So I like the one being on the inside. All we're waiting for now, guys, is for it to get a little bit dark so, uh, so I can actually uh, see what it looks like in the dark. Well, again, guys, I try to go fishing again, and the weather just doesn't want to cooperate. I swear that had to be like 40 mile per hour winds. I sat there for two hours because I thought maybe the wind would die down after the sun went down, but it never did. It just got worse. Man, you talk about flying that drone in that wind. That thing did not want to move. Um, I was worried about losing it. <laughs> Since we didn't get any fishing done, guys, let me tell you about the next mod that's coming this week. Uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. It's the Smitty Built Gen 2 Overlander Tent. And it's gray to match the Jeep. It sleeps two to three people. I believe it's 96 inches by like 58 inches. And again, it sleeps two to three people. That should be very simple to install. I have the exposed rack system on top of my Jeep that I use to carry the kayak. I'm sure I can mount the tent right on top of the Jeep. So um, I'm probably gonna shoot a video about that because this is basically a fishing channel and a Jeep channel. So anytime I mod the Jeep, I am going to show you guys what I've done to the Jeep as well as fishing. This is all being done for fishing. Light bar today, as you've seen in the video, it lights up the whole entire area. It lights up the surf and that's exactly what I need to be surf fishing at night. Uh, I need it lit up like that so I can be able to see without having to use little teeny lights and stuff like that. But anyways, take a look at, at some of these pictures of this Overlander tent, uh, Generation 2 from Smitty Built. Smitty, Smitty Built. <laughs> uh, shoot, I can't get anything right tonight, but the surf was really bad, guys. The wind was... I'm telling you, it had gusts of 40 plus mile per hour. My drone could not stay in the same spot. It would, as soon as I got it up, it'd be way over here quick. And, and that's a pretty tough drone. 
Uh, I've flown it in 30 mile per hour winds with no issues. But tonight, it was kind of hard to fly it in the dark in 40 plus mile per hour winds. All right, I'm gonna read you guys a little bit about the tent and uh, that way you can, sorry for the old man glasses, but you know, I can't see close up. I'm, I'm 57 years old guys, so I mean, you know, I don't think I look that bad for 57. But anyway, the open size of the tent is 95 inches width and 56 inches long by 51 inches high. Sleeps two to three, bed size full, 92 inches by 55 inches. Gray tent body with light gray rain fly. I don't know what the hell a polyurethane sandwich base is. The max load rating is 660 pounds. So bigger guys, this tent would be perfect for you too. 600D heavy duty rip stop polyester waterproof and polyurethane impregnated top and whatever that means. <laughs> Anodized aluminum tent frame pole, stainless steel hinges, lightweight waterproof, 420D Oxford rainfly, four millimeter spring steel durable rainfly poles, telescopic anodized aluminum ladder, cover made from heavy duty 1040 GSM, 2000D PVC with Velcro for waterproofing and UV resistant straps. And it's even got a lead strip inside the tent. So when you open it up, you'll have a light in there that'll light up the whole tent. No CM mosquito screens, and, and I won't talk about mosquitoes. Mosquitoes down here in Corpus are, are just terrible. Um, and it comes with a two year warranty. So, um, pretty good deal. Again, it's a Smitty built Gen, Generation 2 Overland tent, and it's gray. And uh, the reason why I got the Generation 2 is because I wanted it gray, I didn't want it tan or brown or whatever that color is. Once I get that tent, uh, I've got to get it paid off, of course. <laughs> so I get the tent this week, get it installed this weekend. Uh, hopefully I can get you guys a video up sometime this week with fishing, uh, depending on the weather, man. And, uh, you know, plan on doing a lot of camping and stuff like that once this tent comes in. So look forward to those videos. I have plans of getting a refrigerator freezer for the Jeep, a stove and a table to go on the back tailgate. So it'll be up on the tailgate and then when you open it, you could just fold it down. I can cook you guys some pretty good meals out there with fish and uh, crawdad boil or something like that on the back of the Jeep camping. Uh, lots of different things coming to this channel and uh, I've invested a lot of money here recently to uh, to try to improve the videos and try to uh, to get you guys more content that you may be interested in besides just watching me throw a pole in the water. All right, so I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you would like to, and uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification, that way you get notified when I put up a new video. And we will see you guys next video, hopefully this week with a, a fishing video. Peace, guys.